friends, family will let you down. We're just, we're all a bunch of broken human beings, and we will let you down. But understand that as you follow Jesus, he is one person who will never leave you, he will never forsake you, he will always be right by your side through thick and thin. If you open your programs, there's a responsive reading at the beginning. The uh, fine print is mine, the bold print is yours. The Lord himself has said, I will never leave you, or I will forsake you. This gives us the confidence to say, The Lord is my helper, I will fear nothing. John 10, 27 to 29. Jesus said to them, the sheep that are my own and are listening to me are my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never lose it or perish throughout the ages. To all eternity, they shall never by any means be destroyed, and no one is able to snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater and mightier than all else, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. One day they 
message tonight. Baptism does not save anyone. What they're doing tonight is not to be saved. It's not to get saved. It's not to stay saved. It's because they're saved. Each of these people, Lily, Crichton, Layla, have each invited Jesus to be their Lord and Savior. They've realized the fact that the Bible says everyone is sinned and falls short of the glory of God. And that includes them. They're sinners. They know that. At this ripe young age, God has graciously bestowed on them the knowledge that they are not who they thought they were. Their pride has been taken apart enough for them to see their need of a Savior. When they see that they needed a Savior, they look to the cross and they realize His name is Jesus. Why do you want to be baptized? Because I love Jesus. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. That's a great answer. Enough for me. And what we're doing tonight does not save. It's because they're saved. And they, you, the way you get saved is by believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. The heart man believes unto salvation. The mouth he confesses unto righteousness. And when we place our faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are then redeemed people. In response to our love for Jesus, He asks us to be baptized. And the baptism is nothing but a public profession that, hey everybody, I am now following the Jesus that was dead and buried when they go under the water and then resurrected again 
we're identifying with that person and we're letting the public know this is a public profession that I belong to Jesus Christ. That's all baptism is. And then for the rest of their life, they get the privilege of speaking to other people the truth of God. And hopefully if they live to be 80, 90 years old, they've got 70 years of ministry yet. That's really awesome thought. And tonight is their first step in public profession and proclamation that they love Jesus, they belong to Him, and ultimately they're going to be with Him for eternity. This is a good thing. I'm going to start with Crichton. And uh, I've got these you can hang on to yours. Layla's way over here. Sorry. Layla, come over here. I asked uh, Robin if he'd heat the pool for us, but no such luck at this point, thanks. And, uh, actually, it's, actually, it's not bad. You're going to have a blast swimming afterwards. That's cool. A little bit. Craig, do you, do you believe that you're a sinner? Do you need a Savior? What's his name? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Have you placed your faith and trust in him? Because of the profession of faith you've made in the Lord Jesus, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Never co-baptized anybody. <laughs> and so, kind of oh, you have. Yes. Never mind. This is kind of hard. Oh, really cold. Layla, <coughs> you love Jesus. Will you follow him the rest of your life and serve him to the best of your ability as the Holy Spirit gives you strength? You know, because you have been such a wonderful example of a young believer. We baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Come here. Wait one second. Am I going to get one second? Rob's inside. Towel on until I. Rob is inside. Ready? Yes, sir. Ready? Really, really, really. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Have you accepted him as your personal Savior? By your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you with the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> The formal, you know. <laughs> really cold, guys. That concludes our formal festivities. Let me end in order of prayer for us. And then you're welcome to party and stay all night if you want. And sure, he'd love it. Lord Jesus, we are so thankful for your love. We are grateful that you've caused these young people to be born again in their living hope. We pray that as they live their lives, they would be fruitful and productive in glorifying you above all else. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go free! Mm -hmm. Easy! Easy!